Jeremiah Wonders is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Woo, boy, it's hot outside. And a lot of people are feeling uncomfortable with their skin right now. But guess what? Not your boy. Have you guys ever wondered how I keep my penis and testicles from sticking together like a hot lump of imitated clay as I run around LA? I'm sure all of you guys have thought about that at some point. Duct tape and strategically placed napkins, you may be thinking? Well, last week, you would have been right. Ouch. (laughs) Tuesday was a rough one. But what if I told you there exists a single product that can keep my dick sergeant and Lucille Ball's Lucy, they're not home from colliding to the red carpet. Enter Sheath Underwear. Sheath Underwear has a special two pouch compartment that keeps your twig and berries separate, like church and state, separate but equal. It keeps you cool, dry, and comfortable on hot days. And in addition to Sheath's patented dick duffel, Every pair of sheath underwear is an enticing blend of modal and spandex. What's modal exactly? Truly incredible. Well, okay, guys. Have you ever wanted to have sex with your underwear? That's what it feels like. You're putting your penis through a hole. You're putting your balls in a pouch. They're separate. They're not getting sticky. They're not getting hot. And it feels freaking good. I can't believe no one thought of this before. I mean, honestly, Sheath was founded by Robert Patton, a U.S. Army soldier during his second tour in Iraq, which is probably why things were going great over there. Now, you can support this awesome veteran-owned small business and support the show. Win-win. What do you say? Go to sheathunderwear.com and order with promo code SAX to get 20% off your first order and Sheath Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code SAX, S A X. Sheath Underwear. Your balls will thank you, and so will I, and so will your, your penis, and they're for guys and girls. Yeah, if you ladies have like uh, chunky labias, then maybe this is for you too. I've never said chunky labias before, but it could be a thing. I don't know, guys. This episode is on location at the World Famous Comedy Store, and it's a brand new show that Josh Adam Myers and myself are bringing you. It's called The Store Sessions. It's part hang, part riff sesh, part jam sesh, part talk show, music variety. We'll get into all that later. Thank you to everyone who has been supporting the show. Maybe you have been heading over to jeremiahwatkins.com, picking up some new shirts for yourself or something. Or maybe you're just liking and commenting on all my YouTube videos or rating or viewing on iTunes, sending positive vibes my way. All of that stuff helps. Very excited for this show today. We have Eric Griffin, we have Jade Catapretta, and we have an amazing house band, Elemental P, with Joel Rakowski and Nick Liberator. What do you say? Let's get into the store sessions, the pilot episode right here, right now. You guys have to know, we haven't been in the same room together in six months. Six months, dude. And it feels so good. It feels right, doesn't it? There's something about smelling the alcohol on Nick's breath that just makes me feel so good how you and doing comfortable. Tonight? Jeremiah, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. It's It sounds weird, but I miss the smell of the store. You know what I mean? Yeah, the carpet, the walls, everything. It just feels good to be here, man. It smells like Yakov Shmirnov. Ma- Yakov Shmirnov yeah, ice. Ma- coming, Yakov Shmirnov coming to ice. MTV. Let me do a shot of Theo Vaughn. Mm. Yum, yum. A little Southern comfort. Ooh. So we're at probably the most famous comedy club uh, in the world, probably. Yep. Um, maybe the, the Chuckle Hut in Toledo. That, that's a That's pretty, a big one. Doctor uh, Doctor Shinbones Chuckle Hut, um, but um, this is this is like really just us getting together and just having a a jam session with some of our favorite comics. Uh, who knows what could happen during this? Like we could we could talk, we could sing, we could get naked, we could lick each other. It's all possible during the store sessions, right? 
<laughs> Anything's possible. I'm it's licking true. you later. What? You have the antibodies. Uh, yeah. I have the antibodies. <laughs> Let's make out. Let's make out. Let's do it. Oh, come on, everybody. And don't kiss your brother. Come on, everybody. And don't touch your mother. Tell your Aunt Gertie to get the fuck away from you. Because you don't want her to die unless she's a dirty Jew. Ooh, I didn't mean that, cause Jews are cool too. And you're a Jew too, yeah, so that's pretty cool. But I don't tell many people, cause I wanna feel my horns. <laughs> that's a true thing that happened to my dad in 19... Are you serious? In the 1960s, bring it out. In the 1960s, my dad was uh, in basic training in the army, and uh, he was sleeping, and he woke up, and this dude from Alabama was touching his, his head... And he goes, yo, man, what the fuck are you doing? And he goes, I'm just trying to feel your horns. And then my dad sucked his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I was born. <laughs> that's how I was made. <laughs> so, like I said, man, this is just going to be a good time. We're uh, comics jamming, comics talking, and we have an incredible comic uh, to start this. Uh, the host of Ease the Soup uh, one of my favorite uh, com comics to watch, comics to hang with, to smoke pot with. I love this girl to death, uh, and it's so great to be able to see her for the first time in how long? Six, Six seven months. months, man. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet and out there on the patio, wave at us. Good to see you guys. Thank you for coming. And bring, put your hands together for the one and only Jane Catapretta. We're in the same room. Oh, 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 in the same, same room. room. Don't touch me, though. We're in the same room. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, Un no. Unless you got the Don't antibodies. Touch me, no. Don't touch me, no. But I want to. Get off me, you ho. <laughs> what if I want to touch you in a friendly, consensual way? Then it's a yes. Because I need physical touch. <laughs> Jesus, do I need it. I can't believe we actually have you because I think this is the uh, this is the first time we've actually had you out of the house. Oh, my God. Uh, I feel like a virgin all over again. This is what it feels like. Here, I'm breaking here. my seal again. Sit down here. Whew. How have you been? I've been chill, you guys. You know, I have a little bit of a pandemic silver lining. I met a boy. Yeah, but can you I tell? Met a boy. There's an interesting story about how yeah. you met him. Can you? I made fun of him on the soup. He was on a reality show, and I made fun of him on the soup. So yeah, Justine told me. Well, we have a friend, uh, Justine Marino. Yeah. She works on the soup with you, and she like yeah. said she pulled the clip, and she was like, "This guy's a fucking douche," and you and were I, like, "Yeah, he is." But <laughs> I was like, fine. "But you'd fuck him, right? Yeah, yeah. But you'd fuck him, right?" How did that start? Oh hell yeah! Oh. I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> How did that start? So, like, how do you approach somebody that you shit on on a television show? There was a DM, and he was like, I'm such a fan. And then he made a little joke about, because I made fun of his armpit hair being too long, because wh why not? Um, yeah. Great writing. And uh, <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm more aerodynamic now. I shaved it. Thanks. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. Um, but, you know, he did uh, Temptation Island, which oh, is the it's STD. Oh, baby. Oh. You shaved those pits. Let's go. <laughs> How deep do they hear that? Because I just hear your voice in here. I no, love I can that. hear. I can hear. You the, can hear them. Listen real close. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's how low it is. Oh yeah, that armpit hair is gone, boy. Get down on Mama's mussy. <laughs> mussy, yum. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was on reality show, so that part we, you know, it's karma for making fun of people falling in love what on TV. What did you say about him on the show? Um, I was like, that guy's a douche, basically. Okay, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight yeah. up, just he's a douche. Yeah. And so how did you how did you guys court each other? Besides, so he messages you. He messages me. I message him back. There's some DMing happening, some face heavy FaceTiming. Really? Yeah, heavy FaceTiming. I mean, I guess that we're in that era right now. Yeah, it's where weird. That's, I, that's the only thing to do, right? It's all FaceTiming. It's so yeah. weird. And I met him for the first time at the airport when I picked him up. It was like 90 Day Fiance style. Wow. Yeah. So you meet him at the airport? Yeah. How quickly did you did you cadoodle? Well, my friends and I were like to taking bets. <laughs> what do you think? What is the wife? difference from the distance <laughs> from baggage claim to the parking lot? 
<laughs> well, knowing Jade, seven minutes, Jade, Jade, you are like you're just this very hypersexual person. From no, every, what from, me? From your stand, you thought I was gonna no, hit thought, you? Well, are no, you okay? I mean, I, for, <laughs> get back, Josh. <laughs> I've been beaten. Okay, guys. Um, no, but uh, your stand up, you you know, you're you're just a very you're 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 Brazilian. Yeah, which is a very sexual. I'm trying to head country. towards children's television now. That's what I want to be. I want to be a kid's I host. I saw so. you host that thing, and I was like, this is perfect. Yeah, I really I, did. Yeah, no. once I did that, I was like, oh, this, this, this I, my energy needs like to I be here. Like, yeah. I messaged you about it. I was like, this is Thanks. really good. Yeah. Wait, what are you guys talking about? I did a kid's show for Xfinity called Camp Tons of Fun in my living room. I shot it in my living room. Dude, it literally... I've seen her stand up and you've seen her stand up and that's it's not more, good. I need know. to go to children's programming. <laughs> <laughs> I need to move over. I need to stop talking about my vagina. And Camp just teach tons people how of to, fun. Yeah. Dude, it was I was like, oh, this is it. Like I, <laughs> I watched I watched it, I was like, oh, this is what she's gonna do. Yeah, like but I saw it and I was like, this is a perfect match. That's you though, dude. You're like you're you're like Mr. Rogers. You're Camp Tons of Fun. You you're are, Camp Tons of Fun. Dude, he is he probably watches, he eats cereal, he fucking eats. As well, he's eating the cereal. <laughs> he's watching Cartoon Network. Like, Dude, I love all that you stuff. You have action figures. I, bet. I love all yeah. that stuff too. Like, yeah. I feel like I just want to be that big of energy all the time. You know, like overacting and doing all of it. Like, ink, you know, like little winks to the camera. Yeah, oh, right. These, these kids have no idea that you have a WAP. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right now, it's more you of a dab. A it's more of a Today's dab, word of the day, kids, yeah. is wow. wow. <laughs> but think about it. There's no, like, Pee Wee Herman version, like a female Pee Wee Herman version. And in Brazil, there was this woman named Shusha who was, like, the biggest deal. Dude, dude, like, no, no, no. I remember Shusha. She's hot. First erection. Yeah. She First, dated Ayrton Senna. She dated Pele. So she, 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 abacaxi. So the Simpsons made fun this, of Is this like the Brazilian Babadook? Like what? No, <laughs> what no, she's it? like a hot blonde. Like, come she's on, come yeah, on, yeah, come yeah. on. <laughs> Come, come on, on, come on, come, come on. on. With Shusha, <laughs> da, 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 no, like, Vinga, vinga, vinga. Huge vinga. titties. And yeah, beautiful. Cake, dude. Beautiful. Well, yeah. I feel like in Brazil, like if you don't have big boobs, you're not on TV. It's no, booty. It's like me. It's, it's cake, dude. Yeah, it's butt. Dude, I watched City of God and I was getting an erection in the favela. I was like, these women have. You mean Echo Park? Echo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Too soon? No, but it's it's like, dude, they literally put like this gorgeous half dressed naked woman. Like, it's so bizarre. As the host of a children's show. And it's show. a kid's show and she's like in a bikini, like, it's so weird. And she dated every major celebrity in, in, in Brazil and was like, it's still very popular. Like, She's, she's still huge. Doing it? Oh yeah, she still does these like cute. I mean, I can still watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could still watch Shusha. But like, is, is Joel she, Nick? Like, have you guys heard of this? Shusha? Have you heard of Shusha? Not familiar with this Shusha? Oh, weird. Hmm. I don't think well, you get they own it, internationally. Like, guys. I, I feel like I know. I like Joel. Joel has a family and he edits and he does like forty-five jobs and he's learning a kids? million songs. No. You have no. kids. I'm you cool. both have kids. No, not together. Oh, that would be cute. <laughs> <laughs> little band kids, like little rock school of rock. Nick lives in, in a backyard. hole somewhere, like under a bridge. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he's part of like a hobo gallery of like, you know, hobos. Hobos. You guys, it feels so right to have this mic so close to my face. This is my personal one. Is this the first this, time? This is my first mic I've it's used. A, it's a comforting feeling it when is. it's your own mic, right? I know. I would just... get sick every weekend when I was on the road with Bobby, and I never understood why, but now it's all these little tiny Well, holes. he used to deep throw the he mic. He did. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I was making out with Bobby Lee every weekend. That's why I was getting <laughs> sick. I mean, there's worse things than yeah, this world. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what is that like, be, like being on the road with Bobby? Oh, it's the fucking best. You've been on the road. Have you been on the road? I've never been on the road with Oh, Bobby. it's the best. He taught me everything I know. Everything. I like, feel, you think he's just, like, joking, but, you know, he has these really serious moments where he shares a lot with you. And Really? Yeah. Dude, I learned a lot from Bobby yeah. being on the road with him, for sure. Especially, like, how to be a headliner on the road and, like, how to treat people. and Like, just a lot of weird things you wouldn't think. Oh, I'm not saying that yeah. Bobby's not one of the sweetest people. You're like, what? He's a piece of shit. No, but it's just, like, I, I thought you said, like, he was just in his room all day playing video games. Oh, no, he won't hang with you during yeah, the day. Yeah, he won't hang with you. He will He'll complain if you try, too. He'll be like, I'm sleeping. I um, was that guy, like, he, like because I, I kept hitting him up. <laughs> I would text him during the day, like, hey, Bobby, you want to go grab lunch or something? <laughs> yeah, He's I like, like I'm too. playing dude i'm playing video games it's not happening and so what would you do he would take me to a grocery store at night he goes get your groceries for the weekend man because i'm not eating with you during the day dude okay and he would buy it and he'd buy it yeah. he's just like get whatever you want i'm like yeah. really this he goes yeah, yeah. <laughs> he by like, the way doesn't really? pack doesn't pack any of his bathroom like accessories he buys everything on the road everything. every time yeah 
Like he never take brings anything. Actually, he, it's very he, he smart. brings like a little lunch pail yeah. on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the smallest amount of luggage. Like he brought this roller bag that didn't need all wheels. the stickers was, with all the stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. Bobby wears a lot. Of, he's like into that like real grungy style. It's all vintage shit. So I could see him, him and just Sandy wearing... Danto have got the best t-shirt collections, dude. Ooh! I will put this because I am copying my style off of Morgan Murphy. <laughs> That's I feel like she and and Sandy are the most comfortable. people people They're in hip. the world and that's the one good thing out of covid that i'm like fuck jeans i don't want to wear jeans anymore i'm back to jeans it feels right i like a little constriction well you're you're big into fashion i like a little like well i had to stop my rent the runway um prescription which was really sad yeah wait what, what was that because you and jay you and justine <laughs> yeah. were on this do you guys know about rent the thing? runway give us a beat Tell, yeah you play something Ooh, you know when you're like i want to leave the house but i got nothing to wear what should i do who <laughs> I got nothing to wear, but I want to look cute. What should I do, boo? I love that you went with hip hop. <laughs> you went with the most difficult style of music hey, I I to was rap to. I, thought, and you're like, I feel like I kind of like, got yeah, a little rhythm going. What you gonna do when you put that on the shoes, boo? You come with that would have been the next one, Drew. <laughs> yeah, you, you're just like any ooh. ooh. No, well, you kept rhyming ooh. That I was know, the I best. like that. So, like, what you gonna do ooh, when you're putting on clothes, <laughs> ooh? It's a service that you pay monthly and you get free clothes. Like, you, like, just get to rent their clothes. But the clothes are awesome and, like, really expensive. You would never buy them, but you just rent them. But. So you take all your pictures and that. Yeah, and then you're like, bye. 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 Once or once and it's done. You, because you're very stylish. Oh, like thanks. you're You're very stylish. You, uh, you have a very uh, famous picture of you, the boomerang, which you always be like, like, whoop, like you let go of the skirt <laughs> thing. That's like your you thing. You don't think people are noticing, but then you understand how much your art And you realize <laughs> the algorithm is working. <laughs> yeah, it's working. People are masturbating during the day. It's like, ooh, Jay just fin- <laughs> right around now should be finishing Zumba. <laughs> She'll do her By sweaty the way, I just start, I just start selling my sweaty bras online. It's really profitable. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, are you getting offered like crazy <laughs> no, money? I am getting offered something, but I haven't. Why I don't, don't you package it. sing about it? All right. You never know what to, I like my little weird rap. Pick your style of music first to make sure that's what we got to do. Like, no, I think just go just, for it and I'll go for it. Uh, don't and I won't rap. Go for it. I won't rap. Yeah, please try not oh, to Oh, I rap. like that. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, a little Chicago-like. This is. <laughs> yeah. you go there. Ooh. Hey, yeah. hey. Ooh. It's 10 a.m. It's Zumba time. Um, I gotta get sweaty, gotta do it right. So sweaty. You turn on Zoom, you put in the password. Ooh. You hope nobody complains downstairs. <laughs> what you doing up there? Ooh. Are you jumping around or building a fort? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. It's COVID time. Who the fuck is making noise upstairs? It's Zumba time. Every day around 1 p.m. Zumba time. Oh, it's Zumba time. One, two, three, four, five. It's Zumba time. Everyone to the right. Are they fucking upstairs? Because I can't sleep. <laughs> Step one, two, now we'll go to the through. Step one, two, now we'll back it up. It's Zumba time. Are there Russian gangsters fighting upstairs? Because it's oh so loud. I'm sweaty, I'm hot, and now I gotta drink some coffee to come down from Zumba time. I'm gonna have to take a Xanax to go back to sleep. It's COVID and I can't sleep. I better snap a pic or else it didn't happen. See who's out there who wants to bribe my sweat. I'm gonna go upstairs and knock on the door because she's being loud because she's probably a whore. Zumba time. Zumba ooh, time. Ooh, 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 Zumba time. I said Zumba time. I gotta get it right. You what gotta get it tight. Time. It's Zumba time. Zumba time. Ooh, when you're done with Zumba, make sure you get that sweaty, sweaty picture and put it on your Instagram snap, story. Snap, snap, snap. When you're done, you gotta do it right. You gotta play it right and post it. You better what they post doing it. Oh, so loud. 
Who's gonna buy my sweaty bra? A thousand do I hear for more. Well, that would be the guy. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, round about noon <laughs> is when Jade's getting down in the room. About 1.30, she's going to take a picture gonna sweaty get real and dirty. dirty. Oh, I would love to sleep inside her umbro shorts after an hour workout of dancing to that long-haired gay dude that everybody was Zumba dancing time. to. Zumba it's, time. Is it the same guy it's I'm Zumba talking about? Time. <laughs> oh, who are you talking about? I'm talking about the guy that you were like, he's so dancing with this guy during COVID. There's some gay guy that, that dances. Oh, and that's my, that's Hector, the Zumba teacher. That's him. That's Hector. I was in, all right, good. I was in the same. Zumba time. I'll Ooh. give you $50 for your used bra. How do I ship it? Do I put it in a Ziploc or what? I want you to take it off, put it in an envelope and send it overnight. And trust it to Florida, because that's where it's going. 100% I live in Tallahassee, <laughs> Florida, maybe Jacksonville, too. Zumba time. That's when I get to find my chi. That's when I get grounded in some four-step finding. And then I drink a green juice so the nutrients can fill my body with love. <laughs> I love that. Preventing us from sickness and staying in hell. This song is long. We can bring <laughs> it down at any time. Bring it down. This is when we stretch. Oh. All right, let's find out. The, oh. the real question is, what's your offer? What what would be your number for you to sell? Uh, I feel like I'd sell it for like a hundred bucks. Also, do you <laughs> deliver it yourself that's or you just the, mail that's it? That's my question. Do I mail it? How do I, how, then do they know my address? Do, do I you, mail it from I, I somebody else's address? I think you're going to get some phone calls that are like, yeah, what are they going to be do like? Do you have the bras? <laughs> I'm ready for the bras. Leave them in your mailbox outside. <laughs> I Luke, need them I am your sweaty bra. Wait, Love that. Um, I so take <laughs> Venmo. <Do> you, <laughs> are you on Venmo or more no, of a dude, PayPal girl? Nobody has Venmo who's asking for sweaty stuff. Okay, they have the cash, cash app. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love how we just pointed at each other. How, we thought of it how at much, the same time. How much are you going to be paying for the bra again? I will be paying $3.5 million. <laughs> Is this Judy Dench's bra? Put like... it in the safety <laughs> deposit box at the Wells Fargo's on 3rd and Wilshire. Um, uh, I mean, I guess I can meet you there. What time? Noon p.m. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And wait, when, that's noon p. That wait, that's not afternoon. Not noon a.m. Oh, okay. Noon p.m. Okay, okay, okay I get that confused with safe. the two. Um, and what will you be looking like, just so I know <laughs> where to find you? I will be in complete camouflage from head to toe. <laughs> I can just imagine you with like the fucking foliage on your head, just like yeah. Yes. Or I have one of those ghillie suits on. Look for me in the ghillie suit. <laughs> <laughs> the ghillie suit, the yellow one. Guys, I love you very much. I gotta sneak out of here. Do you? Yeah. She's got another show. She's double booked tonight. She's, She's busy. Booked. She's First the host show back. of the soup. You oh, this excited? is. This I'm feels so, so happy good. To be Thank here. you guys so much for having me. This is so. We should do this every day. Ten more. What are we verses? doing? I don't think we can, but we can. You got ten more in you? No. Ten more. Ten I gotta more be on stage in ten more. Let's do a kick. Let's do a little, a little bye song. All right. A quick little bye song. You want to lead or you want to? No, I'll let these boys lead. Ooh, a fast one. I like that. <laughs> Ooh. You can take the boy out of reality, but you can't take reality out of the boy. Oh, no. Everything you do is sexual. Look at the way you've got your leg so the midges can see your wap today. <laughs> I got to stretch. I got to let my vagina breathe. I gotta let my vagina breathe. She has sex at noon and sex at two, sex at four and sex at six. Then she goes and does her stand up spots. Then she gotta air out her wap, wap, wap. Sex! Oh, sex! Whoa, 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 whoa. Say goodbye to Jade. Bye to Jade. Bye, guys. Bye to Jade. Bye, bye to Jade. Jade. Bye, you guys. Bye, you Bye, you Jade. Bye, you Jade. It's been fun. Oh, it's been fun. <laughs>
I it's love been you fun. Guys. I Wait, miss you the, guys. the guy that wants to buy your bra has to say something to you before you go. Oh, please, yeah. About shipping. Tell me anything. Uh, are, are you on Amazon Prime? <laughs> Yeah, I have a wish list. You can you can do check. a prime delivery of your bra to my <laughs> house? Are you, are you a verified user on wait, Prime? Wait, wait, I recognize that voice. Wait. <laughs> hey, it's me, Josh. No! <laughs> no, it's not me! Hey, it's me. Josh? I'm on the bra. Oh, yeah, I'm on the bra. Hi. I feel triggered. It's been fun. I Give it up you, for Jay, Jay Catapretta, ladies everybody. and gentlemen, over the internet and over the Bye, patio guys. of the front store. Holy oh, shit, I forgot hey. to watch it. Yeah. You hear that? Man, Jade just killing the game. The front patio is going wild right now. Ow, ow, ow. We have no idea what we're doing right now, guys. So hopefully this is somewhat entertaining. If not, you know what I recommend? If anybody has fentanyl, take it now. Take the fentanyl now. Because everybody should do fentanyl once. Isn't that right, Nick? <laughs> Indeed. I feel like I feel like for our first guest that we've had on this show, we couldn't have had a better guest. She was a little she was a little short because she double booked herself. Sorry. No, it's all right. I want you to go, dude. The the I'm I'm hold on. Do we see the mask? Bye. 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 One more time for Jade Catapretta, everybody. As you can You're tell. <laughs> It's a pretty relaxed show, Josh. That's a camera right there. Oh shit, um, dude! How does can we can we talk about my look right now? Because I'm like, is this work the the whole bun thing? Uh, do you want me to be honest? One hundred percent. Okay. Um, it works be real. Than a beard. Be real. I th I think that uh, you look like one of the corpses in Rob Zombie's. Uh, House of a thousand corpses. Burn through the riches and dare through the bitches and burn through the pack of my drag you there. Titties, titties and monsters. Titties, titties and monsters. Wait, do you know? Do you know Thunder Kiss '65? Doom, 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 yeah. How's this song go? It's like, oh, rock the little sister on a hot and hell, thinking on a halo. Rock in the sake of pocket like a doogie deacon up a salmon halo. Titties and monsters, monsters and titties. Titties and monsters and monsters and titties. Sax solo. Well, I'm driving in my car and I see a pair of titties. And the <laughs> I want to do that. I want to do that chorus one more time. We build it up and we build it up. And one, two, three, four. Titties and monsters, monsters and titties. Titties and monsters and monsters and titties. Titties and monsters and monsters and titties. Titties and monsters. Well, I'm feeling really good right now, and we actually have another guest that I'm really excited Wait, to get to. Wait, you booked another guest? I booked another guest, yeah. That, dude, if it wasn't for Jeremiah, this would be completely dark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joel wouldn't be here. I don't even think Joel is here. I feel like this is another guy just, like, in Joel's... Is this is this Jay Golden? <laughs> is this our demon? What if I pulled down the mask and then somehow was two feet shorter, like when the mask came down? Oh, it's like a Matryoshka doll. <laughs> it's just like you you completely shrink somehow. It's like how's this even? What is that called? A Matryoshka, right? Matryoshka or Matryoshka? Do we have a, do we have a Russian it's in like the room? Matryoshka or Matryoshka? Any Russians out there on the internet? No. <laughs> Send in your pronunciation. <laughs> To right. the store sessions. Do you want to bring up our next guest? Yeah, uh, I absolutely love this guy. Um, you may know him from Workaholics. Uh, you may know him from pretty much every movie that's coming to Netflix in the next <laughs> year. Uh, we just did an amazing music video together called From a Distance. He killed it on that. I love this guy like a brother. Please welcome, from Riffin with Griffin, the one, the only, Eric Griffin, y'all. Come on! Eric! Hello. 
Griffin. <laughs> Eric. What, what's happening right now? Griffin. I have no idea. This is like a dark, seedy bar. You know what I mean? I mean, could we could we like could be doing Columbia. this at a better place? Yeah. This is like this actually is a dark, seedy bar. The yeah, comedy dude. store. <laughs> this is like, you actually you're perfect for this. <laughs> Wait. So what? Are, what are you in? On you're on. How much shit do you have? Coming dude, out on he's Netflix? got so many things That's on only, Netflix right it's not now. On Netflix, it's only sleepover on a Netflix sleepover. Uh, and I was in Polly Shore's movie, which is not on Netflix. Hey, it's on Prime though. Is it on Prime? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know dude, that. They, I rented it on Prime. And oh, I didn't yeah. even know that. And they're promoting the shit dude, out of yeah. that movie, dude. Paulie's movie? I, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like it moving like on, like on Apple, I believe it's like number eight right now. It's, it's still doing well. Like, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But actually, you know what? Uh, I don't have a problem looking at myself. Like some people, like when they watch themselves, they like, oh, I can't watch myself. But I just go right to my scenes and I just want to see like, how was this? You know? And uh, it was actually, I, Holly and I are actually really funny together. So Wait, Holly. 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 Oh, Polly. Oh, I thought you said Holly. No, I said Polly. It did kind of sound like you said Holly, though. Can we all agree on that? <laughs> just a little bit. That's how you do it? Can we just agree on that? Can we? Can we I'm all... the host. <laughs> I'm the host. The host is right. Uh, co-host. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see there's a fight oh, going yeah, on. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him through the glass. <laughs> No, I watched. Uh, I watched. Guess I was with my wife, and yeah, you uh, hit me up. You hit me I, up. I hit up Eric immediately. I was like, "Dude, you're really good in this." And he's like, "I know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> how's everybody else?" He didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Something I would say, but I didn't I mean, say that that time. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Sebastian actually hit me up, like, just texting me, like, "Hey, man, should I watch this?" You know, I saw you in it. You know, and I was just like, I don't, I don't know what to say when people say that. But I guess you're supposed to say yes. Yeah. But it's like, you know, sometimes you feel like a lot of pressure when certain, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're, you're, you know what the problem is? I hadn't watched it yet. Your so. publicist is like in front of you, like behind the person, like say yes, <laughs> yes. say yes. That's what yes. you push, and I'm like, you push yeah. the film yet? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. I, like, I had to see it, but I saw it and I actually really enjoyed it. It's I, fun. I, it's just like fun. You said, it's just a fun movie. Paulie's at his best, just being he, like, you know what I mean, dude. Like, it made me miss him in yeah, movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. T- I hit him up afterwards. I was like, <laughs> and it, it's, it's so Paulie's like, bro, I should be in more movies, right? I'm right. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like honestly, yeah, you're great in it. it yeah, he really was. It's like vin- It's actually vintage Paulie Shore. What yeah. is it about? It's just about he's, he's, he's just like Pauly, plotting or he's, something. He's Polly Shore living in somebody's guest house. Basically, this young <laughs> couple finds you know a dream I mean? home, but the dream home comes with a catch, and that's Polly Shore in a guest house. Wow, should I be pitching this movie? <laughs> yeah, Whoa, I mean, that, that was an actual pitch. pitch. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Who's in the guest house? <laughs> Polly Shore. Polly Shore. Oh. Who's he playing? He's playing a character, but it's Polly Shore. <laughs> 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 it's for sure it's Polly for Shore. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Eric plays a, a very good cop. In it, which uh, have you played a you played a cop I in? Think, a, I think I've played a cop in the last five things that I've done. Yeah, I don't know I what, like. what it is face. about you, but yeah, he's got cop face. I don't know what it is, but it's good. You're you're yeah. like. Uh, I'm just cop. All right, all right. Let, I want to you know, I want to see your your best cop. So I'm I'm parked. This is all improv, but you got to be a cop. Well, you're white, so I'd be like this. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, <laughs> imagine is I, everything okay? I imagine. <laughs> Can I, I help you with anything? You know what? You you look like you need some help. That's what that would be. Damn, we just got some social commentary on this. <laughs> Let's not do it if it was the other way. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. You just do a gunshot. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was the fastest improv scene I've ever watched. <laughs> All right, no. So I'm, I'm, I. Was we just speeding. did it. Oh, okay. All right. I wanted to say it. Sorry. Were you, were you here? We just. <laughs> I know. I saw that. We got. Welcome to Eric Griffin's master class of improv. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just, we just did it, right? Are you gonna see it? <laughs> Just ask for license and registration oh, like just, a cop. He, he yeah. has a scene in his he head. Was, Dude, he's, you he's, have a scene in your head. He's like, we're playing out my scene. I'm the yo, host. He's trying to get a copy okay, of this wh- for his reel, wh- bro. Uh, where's yes, your license man. and registration? That's your cop? Yeah. <laughs> Next. All right, dude. Come on. God. Yo, be a cop. I'm being a cop. <laughs> that's that's like the chillest cop I've ever met in my life. Yeah. We're, this is a, we're in a comedy. This isn't, you know... We're, this is a drama. This is some dr- it's a drama now. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! I told you he's trying to get a copy of this for his reel, man. <laughs> Wait, I'm, oh, is yeah, this I'm it right now? now? We're doing this. For- I'm nervous because I, I I have drugs in my hey, system. Eric, can you slate as well? Can you say <laughs> yeah, your name? Yeah, should we do that? Hi, uh, Eric Griffin, six three from Los Angeles. I'll be reading for cop. <laughs> <laughs> Been going by Gray Gorgeous lately. 
<laughs> and you damn right. Yeah, yeah, how you doing? Okay. What's the weirdest audition you've ever gone on? Uh, it was for it was for a commercial, and uh, it was. So then, me and it was me and another guy. The guy, the other guy, he was African American guy as well. And even though I'm very mixed, but whatever, that was for what the part was for. It's just two sort of urban guys, right? And the guy that I was with was literally like Carlton from The Fresh Prince. Okay, so he very much was like, you know, hey, uh, hey bro, oh you hello, know? yes, he very much was like like that, right? So then after he hit the R hard in Eric, let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> so when we. <laughs> Hey <laughs> 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 <I> man, hey <laughs> man, come on. Uh, so the uh, so then when we finished the audition, the first run, the guy literally says, he goes, "Hey guys, uh, like what you're doing, you know, it's really good, but can we let's put some funk on it? Let's oh. can we put it?" And so I'm the only one that gets it, okay. I get it. So I say after he does this whole thing, he says, you know, let's put like, you know, uh, you know, some street. Some I said, black. Do you want it to be more black? Is that what you're saying? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like y'all just got like a bowl of weed, and, you know. <laughs> he just and he just like, went with it. Super, so he, super. Because he, he was like, like, oh fuck, you're not offended. Yeah, and he yeah. just. And it, but look, I had offended face on. You know yeah. what I mean? He's like, you're so, eating hot chili Fritos. <laughs> right, and you're fucking. No, dude. He had a whole scenario. There's three fat black women in the back. No, he's <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I'm no, no. But he he didn't do all that. But it would be funny. You're if doing he did the that. nay nay. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 on me now, on yeah. me now. It was just watch like, me, watch me. You know, it was so ridiculous. And then, but the funny part about it was this dude that I was with, he could not do it. Like it wasn't in him. So it wasn't he, in his DNA. It wasn't literally. in his DNA. It's so he literally upbringing. was like, uh, yeah, hey, bro, bro. You hey, know? soul and brother. So I knew we weren't going to get this part. But what made it even worse is I tell my mom about it because I was it was it was early on, and my mom writes a letter to uh, a magazine called Backstage West. You guys remember Backstage West? I remember backstage. Mm, I remember backstage. Actually, yeah. it was like before internet. Before internet was like big. You look like at all the auditions. listings and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So yeah. she wrote a letter, and they put a they they published it. You know, luckily they didn't use my name, but like my son went to a th- audition, and it was like this whole big thing. And I was like, Did "Your mom write it? Are you? Yeah, my, <laughs> my mom, mom wrote, wrote a letter <laughs> to Backstage West complaining about Dear racism. Backstage West. Yeah, it was the most. Well, that was. My, I, it always stuck in my head. It's like the most weirdest. Dude, your story. mom and my mom actually sound similar in the way that they're like protective over their children. Because like my mom wrote a letter into Ellen years ago, like trying to get me like that's discovered why to get or whatever. Her <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, and good. If you she Jeremiah's had it mom. coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait, we see. What did she write? You were she wrote. Do, she though. wrote like I don't know. Like she probably sent in like like go to his YouTube page or whatever. You know, like check it out. Like he has all the talent in the world. Yeah, <laughs> like her, that kind her, of. Yeah, thing. her moms don't understand how it works. They don't get like her mom thinks you could just call NBC. Like, hi, there any? Is there anything available? Because my son. That's what they think. How I've got a. You, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's well built. Um, he's really good uh, to women. Um, my it's... mom actually got my. By the way, my mom actually got me a, uh, a meeting with a huge manager, being like that. And the guy literally just he he, he told me when I came in the room, he was like, you know, your mom's great. That's the only reason why I'm looking. But I knew, I learned so much from that meeting about how to be after that. But anyways, that's so interesting. Did you end up signing with that manager? No, of course not. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even ready. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he just gave you a lot of pointers. Like, yeah, he, listen, he, like, he, right. he was your like, mom got you this, but this is what you need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. should have brought your mom because she probably would have sold you. She probably would have been like, He's so talented. Here, do one of your jokes. And she would have like ran Ugh. that audition. <laughs> She's and laughing. Ah. Dude, no, you just bring this guy. You're like, We're going to do a cop scene. <laughs> 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 I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on the cop scene. I went. Get on the ground! <laughs> 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 Oh shoot! Okay, wow. Could a man wears a bun? <laughs> thank you. There's so many, so many people I want to thank for that, that scene. Was that Solid. was great. Oh, that was the drum. That scared me. That was yeah. Somebody's banging on the wall. You're making noise. <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. The real cop. Real cop show. Yeah. Then they come to me like, "What are you doing uh, with that there, microphone?" We hear there's like, a black guy being loud at the cop. Like, what? <laughs> are the rest of you okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's in the middle. Get him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I uh, when I had passport issues for JFL, um, I didn't think I was gonna get my passport in time when I got new faces. So I, I, my mom, I tell my mom the situation. My mom's like, "Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly to Vermont, and I'm gonna drive you through." 
because I was like, you're so, talking about how your mom hooking you up. So how I, do you tell between your mom and dad? How do you? <laughs> oh, oh no, my dad doesn't sound like me. My mom has the same like gravelly like, hi, nice to meet you, Mister Eric oh, Griffin. She was smoking when you were <laughs> Misty One Twenties, the long ass cigarette. You yeah, came, yeah, but yeah. there was a puff of smoke that came out with him. Koof. It was a vape it was cloud, like a, but it was like a ring though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He went through the ring. <laughs> he did like a vape Ooh, trick. Yeah. <laughs> and they were both like this. Yeah. <laughs> Mom and Wah, <laughs> wah. I'm a baby boy. I got a penis. Can we watch Sesame Street? Hey, is cops on? <laughs> Do that scene with me again. They just threw you. No, but my mom was right because we were. You could get into Canada still with your driver's license and your birth certificate. And my thought was, if I bring my mom, like she'll argue. Me into Canada if there's any kind of cut to you guys in jail. No. You know what's funny? The last time we were probably together actually was in Canada, doing uh, the the thing at the at the thing, because my mom, by the way, my mom. Oh looks, yeah, my mom looks at the YouTube video. Oh, the big <laughs> and one. She's like, and because she doesn't know any better, right? So she sees it on YouTube. She goes, "Oh, and you were with Jeremiah Watkins?" <laughs> like she said it like you were fucking Paul McCartney, and I was, I was laughing. Like I was like, "You have no idea." <laughs> <laughs> he used to open for me on the road. She was like, "Ooh, Jeremiah Watkins?" Because she just doesn't, she doesn't know any better. Yeah, Dude, that was the best worst show of all time. Let me rephrase that: the 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 worst best show. So 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 paint the picture, Joel and Nick. For, for people who don't know what we're talking about, the JFL outdoor show that, that Eric sang Carol Whisper on. We were in Montreal. It was a big deal for all of us. At, at that point, it was our biggest crowd ever, right? It was like 15,000 It was It was Canadians quoted. didn't know it, what was happening. It was though. quoted at that many. It was 15,000. Probably more like seven. I'd say about 7,000 people, yeah. but none of them spoke English. Uh, yeah, and we're supposed to do comedy before that, which was a disaster in such a like a big venue like that. In the way that they, you know, so that didn't work. You know what I mean? Literally, you just, you just the comedy is just blah, blah, not blah, blah. translating. Song, it's, song. <laughs> get your, get, uh, the only person that had a good stand-up set who even attempted it was Big J. Yeah. Only, and it was only, I don't even know if he was killing with them. He was just killing with us because right. he was just making fun of everybody. No, no, I saw him, and that's why I no. Because I remember you. By the way, he wasn't killing with them because I was wondering from the back, trying to find out what the stage was, like, what's happening right now? Right. Yeah. You know, but it's like, but again, they don't speak English or like, it just, it's a festival going on. Nobody, you know, even if it was a comedy festival, people are looking at this like, what's happening right now? We hear music and then the music stops and then there's like. Yeah, why are they, what are they saying yeah. between the. Yeah. Then you said, I'm the, I'm the front man of it and I come out all like. <laughs> <laughs> just jumping around, singing. What do we say? We probably did shout because that was like the go-to song we did at the time. You no, know, you know what we thought? We we were like, yo, let's open with. Uh, did we do Man Eater? We did Man Eater for one of. We did that. We did them. No, that we did. Yeah, so I'm saying we did fire. the Arcade Fire Wake Up intro because we were like, dude, like <laughs> Arcade Fire is from Montreal. They're gonna hear us play that, and they're just gonna be. They're gonna fall in love with us because we're playing one of their like national anthems. And dude, yeah, but that would be like if you're like a world class chef. You know what I mean? I cooked flan. And, you, and you're, you have your favorite dish. Mm -hmm. And then I come in like, I'm going to cook your dish. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> then they're like, huh? they're like, uh, yeah. Oh, you're trying to pander right, to us? Right, right, right. That's, that's <laughs> more where it is. Yeah, but, but it was you, great. You guys were, by the way, I know you're telling the story, but since I'm the guest, I'm cutting in. No, um, the show's great. The goddamn comedy jam's always good. Um, it's but it's really because of you and like your energy. So I was always... I'm speaking for myself, but I was always mad what they did on Comedy Central to ruin your show. Thank you. I you know appreciate what I mean? that. Because it was like, they, they, you know, you brought the show to them, and you were like, but when they were like, yeah, thank you, but what we're going to do is yeah. we're going to find Bring somebody. You know, we're going to get, well, let's get somebody who's like, has has no love for this, who has no idea about what the energy takes for this, and we're going to put them on because he's got a name. And that was like the biggest disastrous thing uh, to happen because it deserved way more than that, and well, it, they should I, see it live. It's so, great live. So, 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 uh, truth of the matter is, which I like to believe, is that while they were we were selling the show to them and we were going through the preparations, when I was at the height of my opiate addiction, oh, so I probably so you I, fucked it up. Got well, it. I don't know if I fucked it up you per se, up. but <laughs> probably. Let's yeah. just say he looked a little bumpy in some of the pictures. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Oh! 
It's like, like, yeah. it's like what? <laughs> a little painkiller bumps. <laughs> they're like, they're like, all right, so uh, Josh, what are your thoughts on that note? And I'm just like, uh, yeah, that feels pretty good. We could do that. I'm going to go back under the desk. Like, Let's talk numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I, what, what really happened was Gary Mann, um, when we pitched it, he had never seen the show. And I guess he visualized lip sync battle because that was what was popular at the time. And th- huge. And wow. then and so that was what their attempt was. It's funny that you brought that up because I was hanging with Jay Farrow last night and he was like, what happened to the show? And I was like, you know, dude, listen, I can look at it and find the positive because without that show, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in and vice versa and blah, blah, blah. But also the cool shit is that I got the rights back, which is good. And we're going to be doing uh, the, the new television version of it at the in crowd that will be streaming to everybody. Oh, that's and great. So we can for really you. do the show the way it's supposed to be yeah, done yeah, 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 with yeah. everybody. And like, but how can you like, how can, it's just crazy that somebody that's never seen it or understands it is just trying to pitch it with their own idea. That's so crazy. That'd be like if I had like like the the Godfather is in my head. I had the whole thing, and the guy's like, "Oh no no no, I I get it. Uh, it's really about you know." It's like, "No, yeah. bitch, listen." <laughs> you're like you're, you're pitching ragu. You don't understand <laughs> yeah. what I have yeah. here. This is this is gold, yeah. you know. So, but anyways, and so when you guys took that energy to the Montreal, that was great. Oh, dude, Montreal. yeah, all the shows were just fucking monster. Well, I think it was even better about that night was we did that the big outdoor show and then we immediately hauled all of our shit back to go to the smaller club and we did that one final show. We had to do one show after that. I don't know if you oh know that. God. We had to do a little show for like what 70 80 people in the catacombs or was there more than Saturday that? Saturday night there was more people cuz it grew. It's probably 150. We, once we got on the weekend. Yeah, but dude, that was what was so cool about it was that like you would go to our show and you'd look up in the rafters and you've got Michael Che yeah, and yeah, fucking yeah. like all these big comics just hanging out. And it became like, you know, instead of going to the Hyatt bar, everybody just wanted to come to the jam. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's the thing about comedy is always very humbling. No matter what happens, no matter what you're involved in, you have this huge thing, you know, that's comedy. You know, you do this huge, huge, huge thing. And then the next night you're like in a bar with 22 people. Yeah. And you're just like, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> it's al- it's almost better that we had that next show to start to ground us again. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because we just performed. Because after for that, you guys, if they're not, thousands of people, you guys would have been like, uh, we only do fifteen thousand <laughs> yeah. reported. It is 15, cool to watch venues. that video of of you because it pans out into the audience at one point. It's just like a sea of people. Yeah, it's super cool. It's crazy. And none of them understood one thing we were saying. They just looking at us. They just Charlie, Charlie the Sotelo song. shot that. From South by Southwest, oh, okay. he shot that video. For yeah. some reason, I was thinking you were talking about the guy from It's Always Which Sunny. Which would count as our second music video, really. Dude. Our first, then our second. Yeah. So yeah, who, yeah. who came up with that idea? Because it was fucking hysterical, oh, it's dude. All, it was a great song. I'm all, a part of it, too. I'm just, I, it's oh, all Jeremiah. Oh, from a distance. Uh, well, Eric and I were going back and forth, and we did like a, a writing session just trying to generate and brainstorm ideas. Yeah. And then uh, we came up with the idea. And no, no, then, he's not telling the story right. We have another idea that we were working on. But then from that thing, he came up with this thing on his own. Then he came, then he brought it to me, trying to be like, hey, let's do it like this. But then as I'm hearing how he's doing it, I'm like, no, nah, this is really your thing. And it, th- and it came out better that way, like, where it's like he's the Eminem star of that, and I'm just guest on the thing. I just thought it, came, it was better that way. And, uh, you know, c- kudos to him. He's the kind of guy who's like, I want to do a song, we're going to make the song, and then we're going to shoot a video in a week. And then it's like, now it's, you know, it's out. That's how when, he does it. When Jer gets an idea, dude, he fucking runs, dude. You, you like, I mean, dude, we threw this shit together, and we started really, like, working on it. Like this week, mm-hmm. and it was like yeah, and you didn't just, even know there was guests and stuff. You're just like, I what? Knew there was a, you <laughs> no, didn't even know what the I fuck's do. going on, dude. I was having, I was having dude, fun. Eric, Eric, he rolled up at, at like 20 minutes before show. He's like, should we do a sound check and stuff? I'm like, dude, I've been here like yeah. an hour and a half. We, we, like, got, the like, we, we got cover. We got Cue the dolly. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, we got a guy with a fucking steady cam, like. Yeah, you just I brought the photographer. You I became, think that's you became good. talent. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, Nick, <laughs> Nick and I had been setting stuff up. He's like setting up his drums, and Nick just looks at him like. Uh, he'll always be Josh, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> this is that look. <laughs> yeah, the truth is coming out right now. Yeah, We're having a little right. sesh right here. Yeah, a little we, sesh. The, we, the store just, sessions, that's what it is. We just came from the from the parking lot show. Is that the fir- was that the first stand up show you've done since no, you've done that? No, no, no. That was about that was like let me see. I did the, their first one, the one they did I've done his show before at another place. That was my first one. 
And then I've done a parking lot show at uh, the Irvine Spectrum. How was that? That was my second show. It's crazy. I don't like doing shows in front of cars. It's 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 so it's weird. weird, man. And then uh, this one was the third. Dude, I did yesterday. I performed in Echo Park in front of a lake, uh, while people were on a hill. There were ducks, and uh, like people were running, like like <laughs> literally on through my set. It, dude, it was <laughs> insane. I figure we have the instruments here. Wait, what do you? No, put? you can keep talking. Oh, I figure I just score it. Oh, okay. It's the cop scene now. When a man <laughs> get on the fucking when a man ground. with a bun <laughs> get on the fucking ground freeze your cold dangerous heart freeze get on the ground let's start humping each other Ooh, I'm the sexually active cop. <laughs> I touch everybody when I search them. I reach in between the legs and fiddle with their balls. I'm the sexually aggressive cop. <laughs> Eric's face during this is so perfect. Because it's like, like wait, wait, wait. This sweet, lovely song turned into somebody's nightmare. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> I'm the thing at the bottom of your sink. That when you reach your hand down to grab the piece of food that's stuck to the fork, that's clogging the drain. <laughs> that's me. I just want to be loved. I just want to be hugged. I'm the bottom of the sink. Yeah, it's making you think I'm the Why'd you, you throw me away? Why'd 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 you throw me away? I'm the garbage disposal man of love. <laughs> Eric, where's Eric Griffin when you need him on a track? I know that I'll be here because that guy has always got my back. Take it, Eric. I just turned on the garbage disposal. <laughs> and I know you like my proposal. I like your rhyme. <laughs> that was good this time. <laughs> It will be fine. <laughs> How about we enjoy a glass of wine? <laughs> Maybe not this time. Why'd you throw me away? Why'd you <laughs> throw me away? Why'd you throw me away? I'm the garbage. Why'd you throw me away? Why'd you throw me away? Why'd you throw me away? The king of falsetto, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. That's his go-to move. <laughs> Woo. Oh, coming from woo woo woo. I know. Oh. Yeah, but my woo woo are like woo woo woo. Oh, hit it, Eric. <laughs> woo woo woo. Woo. Oh, hit me with some woo. Woo-woo. You. I want to. I want to. I want a falsetto battle because you guys are. <laughs> that sounds good. You. <laughs> that was good. That's also the sound of somebody that's never smoked anything his whole life. Like, he has the most pristine like vocal cords. Virgin ass throat, yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, virgin <laughs> ass throat. That's a virgin ass throat. Sound of virgin ass throat. Sound of virgin ass throat. Sound of virgin ass throat. Got the virgin ass throat. Got the virgin ass throat. I sound like I swam in a moat. Maybe a billet goat. And you done too much coke. Oh, for sure. And sometimes I might smoke, you know. <laughs> and that virgin throat never gets choked. Ooh, maybe I will get poked. Mm. I don't know if we like that joke. <laughs> I hope I don't croak. <laughs> I think uh, some of us are turning a little bit woke. <laughs> I shouldn't have spoke. 
<laughs> but you sound like Tone Loke. <laughs> like he just took a toke from his crack pipe smoke. <laughs> I was watching the Avengers. The villain was Loke. Oh, mm. God. <laughs> it's time kind of to do the wild thing. Yeah. I sound like oh. Joe Loke all the time. That's my journey through life. Garbage disposal, man. Why'd you throw me away? Why'd you throw me away? I just want to be loved. I like I like Eric's like love like like singing love lips like he's got like the the Homer Simpson when he burps lips <laughs> like they're just going crazy like yeah. he's like whoa, whoa, whoa yeah that's what, the, that's what the soul is the soul's in the lips soul's in the lips <laughs> for him it's in the throat he's got those earnest scared stupid lips those <laughs> Or it could be a singer. <laughs> Those Jim Varney lips. Got, you know? Oh, right. big, ups, big up. Moment of silence for Jim Varney. Dude, y'all. I went and visited his gravesite in Kentucky. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, having dude. a moment of silence. <laughs> 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 and, Jer- and Jeremiah immediately made it about him. A story. You know what? That reminds me of a story. <laughs> so what did you think about 9-11 yesterday? Funny thing about 9-11. Funny thing about that. <laughs> I was playing a song. <laughs> I used to have this job. Um <laughs> Uh, no, I went and visited his uh, his gravesite in Kentucky because the top things to do in Kentucky, I looked him up when I was there because I was back out on the road for just a few weekends in a row just recently. Have sex with someone's cousin. Yep, no. that was number one. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. Um, uh, I went to his gravesite and there was like a DVD of one of his old movies and stuff. That was literally the first or second thing, top things to do in Lexington was visit Ernest's That's grave so sad. and then there was like a putt putt course it was like a religious putt putt course that i went to that you had religious love that. Like, please explain that bro it was was it like bible verses every night you know between Psalms, every hole uh, chapter 7 <laughs> verses 5 through 12 dude there there was literally different <laughs> courses different themed parts from the it. bible it was you're like i got a hole wild. in one but God. it was like but there's like a but there's like a there's an anti gay course where you can't <laughs> 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 Put blacks in their place yeah. hole. Yeah. <laughs> There's a hell course over there. Yeah. Uh, this is where Eric will be playing today. Yeah, yeah they're like, how can we not play on the good stuff? Oh no 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 no, you no, no, that's here. for you. Over this there. is uh, You're here this in Satan's is a, village. This is a Satan's par village. anti-stem cell research. <laughs> oh God, no, they're for it. No, they are they against stem? No, they're yeah. against yeah. against they're stem against, cells. Yeah, dude, they're against healing. Anything with like, <laughs> I don't think anybody like. <laughs> I'd love to see that pitch. Be like, oh, you against healing? Oh, oh y'all again? Oh, I'm in, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm in Congress. Oh, <laughs> yeah. y'all against healing? Y'all against healing. <laughs> okay, I didn't know it was like that. Okay, okay. I just wanted to see where we're all at. Okay. Get shit done. Just keep it simple. Yeah. Just Who against healing? Point. You against healing? You against? How healing? about you? No, I don't know if we're against it. I thought you healed people in church with the the things and the. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you have you ever have you ever been in the room and somebody's done that? Like, is there like? I've been to a Pentecostal church. That's that's a little bit more extreme than, than I have, my upbringing. Okay, so yeah. I've been at a dinner where the pat like uh, so I'm a small dinner, mm-hmm. you know, and then there was a pastor there and they asked him to say, the grace. Yeah. And so my mom and I very similar in terms because I was a young kid. So we're very similar, like cynical, you know what I mean? So like, they go, Pastor, you want to pray? And he starts going like this, who God, who's going God? You know, they like speaking in shit. tongues and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Speaking in tongues with a prayer Lipto style, my yeah. favorite. But yeah. dude, my mom and I looked at each other, and <laughs> I'm talking. You want to talk about? You know, you know when you're not supposed to laugh? Of course. And then that's so that the makes funniest it even thing worse. Ever, yeah, yeah. Ever in the world. So oh man, she's kicking me in it because I'm just like. Whoa! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying not to. Li- oh, God. You didn't feel like joining in? No. This shit's crazy, Dude, man. I would love to be in a room with people who speak in tongues. See, you know what? The worst thing about it is if you start doing that shit, because we know they don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? Yeah. Like, deep down, they're like, you're just, whatever it is, what, you're, you're, you're feeling something, and you're, you know. So if you start doing it. I would kill it, dude. They, yeah. would, they wouldn't think, what, you ready to see me speak in tongues? Like, okay. for real, legit. Like, all right. You know, amazing that maybe you should speak in tongues all the time because you didn't have no gravel in that. <laughs> it's the Lord, dude. It was the Lord speaking through. You me. notice how he's fi- he finally sounded like a normal human being he's for like, the did first you time. Did you soak your throat in Epsom salt? Yeah. What between did you, what? Did you get a, did you get a throat <laughs> massage? Shalom in the lila. You know, like, okay. Oh, my first I, number I, 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 for my first number, I'm gonna like, and then. Ah, 
but that's like when you, but that's like when you see foreigners like at a karaoke you know anytime you see asian karaoke, i love seeing that you know they, they can't speak you could tell there's no english then the song starts and all of a sudden oh. you're, do you believe <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, just an happen? unassuming little Asian yeah. dude. And then he's just killing oh, it. Oh, I thought, I thought he, he meant the band foreigner. I was like, <laughs> oh, no. You're like, like double vision? What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah. You're as cold as ice. He just he just wanted to do that so bad. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he has he's this trying, he's trying to put like, that in. how can I get to foreigner? <laughs> Eric won't let me have anything tonight. <laughs> this motherfucker is like, dude, I'm trying to hey, have fun. Jeremiah, let him know. This is this, this is what it's like with okay, me. You have right, me on the okay. show. It's this, true. This, it's this, like, is, this is it, okay? He's oh, got like a, People are going to love it. Trust I, me. No, I, had you, I, had you on the, I had you on the 500. He's got like a... Exactly. Our, one, of our, one of my biggest like social media shit that we ever had on the show was our battle saying that he thinks the Beatles were a boy band. And yeah. I'm like, so he's putting the Beatles up there with Insync. Yeah, they're, you know, boys to men. They didn't write and, their songs. Insync. They they had like producers. Okay, okay. okay. And my 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 response to that is, do you think that uh uh what what's it, what's the Umbob guys? Handsome. They you wrote just, their songs. Yeah, though. they're a boy band. But no, they're a band of boys. I think they're ah, a band of boys. You see what I'm saying? I, that's why I won. That's why I won. You didn't, oh no, you did not. Yes, I did. Win. No, you did not. I got a lot of messages saying like, yeah, they were Hold on, the biggest me, boy let me, band. Let me talk to Jesus real quick. Shut <laughs> up, uh, dude. Yeah, if you think Jesus right. is watching this, <laughs> he's with me everywhere. Jesus Eric. canceled this subscription <laughs> yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say no, that. Yeah, Jesus, of all the things Jesus can watch tonight. <laughs> All right, here, here's here. Let's here, just here. say those footprints. Listen, there's always those somebody footprints disappeared look, next to Josh. There, a long there's time always somebody <laughs> could be in a band that writes music and whatever, but not all of them. They're not could a write boy music. band. All right, first of all, we got two band guys here. Actually, all right, Nick. I'd love to hear from Nick and Joel. Yeah, yeah. They were presented as a boy band. Okay, they're not a boy she band. She said You're she loves you. No, yeah. <laughs> that whole era yes, is all boy band. They were band. a boy band. I gotta agree with Eric. Yeah, on, they're a boy band. Thank term. you. Now, did they? Tell you cold. Now, did they evolve, hey, did they evolve <laughs> into something else? No, 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 no. They yes, were that's not. Fine. But they that's were. Fine. They were the original no. boy band. They were they not. They had women cool. screaming at them. No. Like all that all right. stuff. Yep. Okay, the stipulations. I got it. All right. Mm. Yep. I'm. I'm doing it. Preach it. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> He's on this week. <laughs> This is this is, <laughs> this is every week. You this better watch your tone with me. All right, listen. The stipula- you already saying about me being at the bottom of a garbage. But that <laughs> worked. I, I don't appreciate can, that. But that. You made the character cute. Okay, thank you. So uh, you said he he just wants to be loved. Yeah. You, that's me. Yeah. So, why'd you throw me away? Uh, but yeah, exactly. I I loved that. Um. All right. So the stipulations of a boy band are they are created by like a dude that's like forms them. Gets their songs but together. Whose nope. definition is that nope. though? That's your that's, definition. That's I think that's your nope, definition. That's your definition. Chris, Chris, Eric, Chris Patrick started in sync. Huh? Okay, well, there's always no, the, dude. The, no, yes, wait, no, the ugly guy right, in sync started in sync. What, what's your definition? What, what defines a boy band? Uh, a boy band is just a bun- band of boys, a bunch of boys in a band. You know, they're they're the lead singer's probably really handsome. Girls like them. They uh, they appeal to teens. They're so appealing foreigner. to his- yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of rock boy bands too. You know what I mean? Bon Jovi was a boy band, really, yeah. in the uh, beginning. Well, I yeah, mean, is I'm it is it the idea that that the image is more important than the music? Yes. Okay. okay. Well, I wouldn't say that about the Beatles. In the beginning, though, yeah, because well, they stole all their music from other people anyway. They're, they're not original. The Beatles, the Beatles first, well, the Beatles first that's, original that's music. Point. They that's stole all their music from black people and they turned it white to make white people feel comfortable. That's a good and point. that's what they did. Yep. Well, so they were they wasn't their original music either. Have you ever seen a Boy group band. of uncomfortable white people? They're very hard to be around. Uncomfortable <laughs> white people. So yeah. Yeah, every yeah, comedy dude, club in the south. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, all I, I'm saying is okay. I'm, 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 look. The Beatles definitely evolved because you every group evolved. But when they first started, when they came to the United States, they were presented as a boy band. They were they were cute. They had a look. They had a feel to them. It was that about appealing true. to girls. It was about that was their look. That was their that's a boy band. That is true. Have you just like Justin Timberlake evolved? Would you, yeah. would, it was was he a boy band anymore when he when he left them and became what he became now? He's different. Now he's an artist. He's, yes. Yeah, but, but the Beatles, and the Beatles were a boy I, band when they I, started. I feel no, but see, I feel. Man, the Beatles, how does it feel to lose two times, Josh? <laughs> oh, I haven't lost. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like that Eric just, and I are ganging up on him. I just like want to be loved. <laughs> 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 Mike B. 
being dropped. <laughs> Hit me with something. <laughs> Joel, let's get your opinion. Oh, man. I want to gang up on you, Josh, but I'm, I'm on Josh's side. I, Thank I, you. And I, Joel it's is. It's weird because you're, I get what you're claiming. They weren't, they weren't a boy band in the beginning. Maybe someone turned them into something. They didn't. They had a couple of years when they were just dudes trying Party, to rock the clubs. Bar, they were a Liverpool. bar band. No, I get that. I get, they I, were I get a bar that. band but that what, maybe what, got presented as a Yes, boy but band. what we know of them, when they came to the United States and they came off that plane, what were they? A band. You no, 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 were, no, no, no. You don't speak for him. You know, you I see were, it on your face. You could say they were presented as a boy band for the American. Thank you. Oh, when, they, when they were on the... Uh, All right, don't you're fucking... Out, you're Oh! <laughs> he tried to catch it. He tried to catch it. I got it. I Mike dropped shit. again. Do you, no, guys, no, you can, do you guys know any Beatles? <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> what now? Yesterday. <laughs> oh, they know like Josh they know every, Myers they know every... try to. <laughs> I, I don't agree with this, people. You don't have to agree. It's okay, your whole mood. That's how you know who the loser to. is. <laughs> I just want to be loved. <laughs> Garbage just plays. <laughs> All you need is love. <laughs> Please, let's, oh, should we do a, a terrible rendition of Imagine? That's how they... <laughs> no, they know more than Imagine. You, they, you That's one do, of their boy uh, band songs. You were just, uh, sounding pretty soulful. I'd like to hear oh, that. Oh, no, let's do... Dude, let's do fucking... O.D. Oh. What's that? Let's... Oh, he, darling. He's, he's always missed Mr. Like, let's get the B-side Beatles classics. <laughs> Only he knows it. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, all right. That's your fucking. move. <laughs> Let's do the one on the we Beatles' secret. We are not having Eric the on the secret show album, uh, track three hey, on um, the B side. Hit it. Hey, you guys know the Beatles' Red album, right? <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> now, uh, track number seventeen on that. <laughs> no, but by the way, it's actually not an insult. That's how, that's when you know who loves loves music. music. Yes. Well, the Beatles are they transcend music. They're they're like you know. They that's break, what, can I tell you something? What? That's what boy bands do. No, they don't, dude. In <laughs> Sync and Backstreet Boys. Oh, are and you Menudo? Uh, never... Excuse me. You you play "Tell Me Why" in any country in the world, and everyone's gonna start singing. You telling me that song don't transcend shit? That's a great song. That's a great song, Eric. But they never, they didn't write Jeremiah! that though. <laughs> they didn't write that though. Uh, okay, listen. I okay. If we're gonna go with his definition of what he thinks a boy band is, of them not writing the songs, okay? Like, that that's a distinction you're making. But I'm telling you, the common distinction between what, what makes a boy band, they're on my side. Why don't you sing about what makes a boy band a boy band? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> doo -doo. No, they're not. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Uh -uh. No, they're not. You take... Four cute ass white boys with some floppy hair with that stare. You want this dick, girl? <laughs> and then you get some good sounds. Probably a D with a G <laughs> and a minor chord coming on back, and you got la, 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 a boy band. La, 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 la. It's a boy That's band. That's a boy band. La 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 la. La 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 la. But what if they write all their own songs? Is that make them a boy band? You're wrong. But if they get off the plane, looking all plain, and they got all the same outfits on, and the music is sounding all cute, and they like all the girls going. Ah! That's a boy band. Mm. That's a boy band. That's not a boy band. That may be close to one, but I don't think that's the full definition of a boy band. When I think of a <laughs> boy band, I think of Menudo. I think about bands like Backstreet Boys. I think about NSYNC and 98 Degrees. They were created in a laboratory. <laughs> the Beatles were formed in a bar in Germany, and they went far with determination in writing their own song. Your definition of boy band is wrong. So come on, big la, fat la, Jewish la, long. La, la, boy bands are here, and that is wrong. Oh yeah. La 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 la. 
la, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> I'm the king of acting, the king of acting, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm the whoa. Daniel Day Lewis of this room. Let's do a scene. We were supposed to do a scene from Die Hard right before the apocalypse happened. Him and I were going to do, I was John McClane for class. I'm John McClane. He was going to be Hans Gruber. How dope would that have been, Eric? How fucking dope would that have well, been? Well, because you look like the villain, and he looks like he I wouldn't be way, a villain. So I, I get it. I got way more of a, uh, of a John McClane vibe than I do of a Hans Gruber. No. You, if, if, listen, if the cops were outside and I said, there's a shady character in there, and he might have a bomb. Go after Nick. 100%. When they come in, <laughs> no, if it was just you two, trust me, they're going to get you. I wanted to do. You know what scene it was? You've seen Die Hard, right? Love Die Hard. Uh, it was classic. It was he was where he would have been like, no, you know, you're one of them. You're one of them. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, but you know what's great about that scene? What? And and uh, r- rest in peace, uh, uh, Alan. Alan Rickman. Alan yeah. Rickman, fucking fantastic. I love actor, Alan Rickman. You know, and I love him in Harry Potter. He was yeah. great as Severus Snape. Let's do a moment of silence uh, for Alan Rickman. This reminds me of uh, this one time <laughs> where. Um, uh, I was watching the Harry Potter films. <laughs> Give me one. <laughs> that was fucking. Uh, that's called timing. Up. That's oh, called that's timing. Uh, no, but he was great. And but what's great about that scene is like within that scene, he's playing someone who has an accent, who is playing someone who has an accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very layered. Yeah, that was very layered, layered acting right there. He was great. Um, so we uh, we're out of time now. So I don't know if oh. we want to do a quick send off uh, with Eric, but this is the end of the show. We're we're done with the hour here oh, at the, at the comedy store. Yeah, it's great, yeah, dude. Fun. We did it. I feel like we're gonna do this again. Damn. Yeah, yeah, as long as they'll have us. Yeah, yeah. Look at every standing ovation, guys. You no, can't believe it. No, it's there. funny how we're talking about this, and then you look at this table right here, and they're just in <laughs> full on conversation about something completely <laughs> different. Like they could care less. Should about we do shots? Should we do shots? I love. That's is that Kenny G? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> he does no. He looks like a, like a Bruce Dickinson Iron Maiden vibe. <laughs> Definitely an eighties haircut. I love the eighties hair right there. Dude, so much was accomplished today. We got to act. We got to argue. We got to talk about boy bands. We I don't know why we're not finishing with a Beatles song. It just feels like you know what I mean. Sergeant Pepper. Oh, of course you pick. He picks the. What you, well, what? Which one do you want to do? Yesterday? Yesterday's did you like? Uh, th- this reminds me of the Bee Gees. What was that? What was that? Uh, what was that movie that the Bee Gees starred in with all the Beatles music? Oh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that movie. Really? Yeah. I love because the corny. It's just like you know what other movie I love? Under the Cherry Moon. The Prince movie. I never saw that. Complete garbage. Really? <laughs> but it's so fun to watch. Oh, oh I, no, we're not doing this. Remember, we retired this. <laughs> uh, one more time. One more time. One more time. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Christ. I feel so unsure. As I take your hand and lead you to the dance floor And the music lies There's something in your eyes Calls to mind a stealth screen Love I don't remember this part, but whatever I'm never gonna dance again Guilty feet have got no rhythm it's easy to pretend I know you're not a fool Should've known better than to cheat a friend Get to feel it, I still give He doesn't know it <laughs> They were gonna do pretend The way I dance with you Whoa, whoa Cut to the chorus. Tonight the music seems so loud. I wish that we could move this crowd. Baby, it's better this way. I heard each other with the things we want to say. We could have been so good together. We could have fixed this King of Foster forever. Hit it. Again. The gifted feet have got no rhythm. No season 
to pretend. Ladies and gentlemen, no, you're not a fool. I want to say thank you to the Jeremiah, Josh Adam Myers, and the band. That's great. And uh, it's been good to it's been good to be here as always. I mean, how great was this? You guys always do oh, a I good love thing. You, Eric. Thank you for coming out. Jeremiah asks, thank I come. You, Eric. Reluctantly, but I show up. <laughs> you always come through. I always come through. I love you, bro. <laughs> I hate it, but I always show up. I love you. <laughs> you have fun. You know it. You ain't shit, but I always okay. come. I know that. <laughs> I like how you pretended you didn't hear the song when we started. I mean, uh, this has been the store <laughs> sessions, guys. Thank you so store much for, uh, for watching. We'll be back next month, guys. So, uh, yeah, dude. Just keep coming. And love we'll you guys. Have a good night. Nick and Joel of Elemental P. <laughs> Josh Adam Myers. Jeremiah Watkins. Good night, guys. We love you.